All right. Next, we are going to, there's a little bird on there, and people go, wow, she's really good. If you can carve a bird that small, you're really good. Well, truth be known, no, I'm not. It is a mold. Um, these are silicone molds, and my molds come from all over because of my travels. This one in particular was from a company in England, which they do have a distributor here in the States. Um, but these are real tiny, and if you can look at the detail on that little bird, it's amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of fondant, and again, I'm going to put some Tylos in that just to stiffen that up a little bit. And if you stiffen it up, you don't necessarily on these, because we're not worried about um, it being too dry, um, you can actually puff this up with cornstarch, which is what I'm doing now, and you don't have to stick it in the freezer. It'll pop right out. So what we're going to do is I always start with, say, the little tail feather right there. That's pretty narrow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little ball and roll it into a sausage, and I'm going to stuff it. Now, you never, ever, ever want to puff the mold itself. The reason is, is if you puff the mold, the cornstarch gets into all the little detail, and you're losing detail. So you don't want to ever puff the mold. You're going to puff the fondant or the gum paste. Okay, and I'm gonna smash that in there. Just push as hard as you can with your finger. The harder you push and the farther you get it in there, the more detail you're gonna get out of this. And then what you're gonna do is just take a spatula, run it over the top of that, and push it back in. Now, another secret to these molds is when you get everything in there and it's the way you want it, if you wanna add some more in there, just Add it in and keep pushing. But final step is you're going to take your finger and you're going to pull it away. See how when I pull away, you see the edges there? You want to pull it away from the mold. And I feel a little bit out here, so I'm going to pull that off. And I take my finger if you want it nice and smooth and just run that back and forth. But you're just going to pull that away from the mold. That way, the, it's going to release a lot easier and you're going to get more detail. Okay, I'm done with this. And all I'm going to do is flip that out. Can you believe that? Pretty cool. So on the smaller molds, you really don't necessarily have to stick those in the refrigerator. If they're dusted enough again, um, they will just pop out. And who has time, if you're going to do several of these, to keep running back and forth the refrigerator? The other problem I find when I do that is when they start to thaw out, they have a tendency to sweat. And when they're sweating, it's hard to dust them. So we are done with that mold. Now, to color that, I would just set this aside. I'd probably put it with my picket fences, time elapse camera. Um, we're ready to color this. So to color this, what we're going to do is we're going to dust it. Um, the little legs obviously would be brown. The little tiny beak, I'm actually going to use some orange um, gel paste um, to try to dust that. It's not just not going to show. And I'll use probably a very light um, you can either go with a uh, luster dust or you can go with a petal dust. I think we're going to take, how do we use this? Is that a more blue on there? Yeah, that's a darker blue. We're going to go, it's a turquoise blue in the luster dust. So pull those lids off. Okay, we'll open the lid on the brown. And we'll get a tiny paintbrush to paint the orange. Okay, so I'm just going to take some orange gel paste. And, oh, here's the orange up here. Sorry about that. I'll move over here. Now, what's neat about these Americolor lids, silly little thing to some, but to most of us it's not, they actually put a little lift on these caps now, which is great. For those of us that tried to get these off before, it was horrible, and you ended up with color everywhere but where it was supposed to be.